Good morning, Sebastian Lacido here, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. You know, I think one of the most important parts of Scripture is understanding the armor of God. The armor of God is who we are in Christ, who Christ made us to be, all of the benefits of who we are in Christ, and, and then knowing uh, the, the Word of God and the application of, of who we are, the Word of God, and what Christ has given us. You know, in Ephesians chapter 1, I want you to see, because all of that pertains to the covenant. We are the sons of God because of covenant. We are the children of God because of covenant. We are, you know, we have the Holy Spirit because of covenant, because of righteousness. And so a lot of times we have low self-esteem because we don't think we deserve or don't, we don't think we've earned. We don't think that we're strong enough. Yet here in Ephesians chapter uh, one, let's look at the scripture. Verse three says, blessed be God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has, past tense, blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. So, I mean, immediately, verse three, God blessed us with what? With every, complete, every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ, in covenant with Jesus. Just as he has chosen us before him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him, where? In love, in faith, having predestinated us to adoption as sons by, there's the connection word to covenant, Christ Jesus by himself according to his good pleasure. So just in these three verses, you know, we can't be a son of God without covenant and faith in Jesus Christ. We can't be holy and without blame before him in love without covenant and relationship with Jesus Christ, our faith in Jesus Christ. You know, it goes on to say, to the praise of the glory of grace by which he has made us accepted. Accepted of who? He, we're accepted of God. How? In the beloved, in Jesus. In him we have redemption through another one, his blood, for the forgiveness of sin according to the richness of his grace which he made to abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of time he might gather together in one all things in Christ, which are in heaven and which are on earth. So, you know, let's just, let's just look at all of this language, in him, by him, through him. Here's the thing we need to understand. The power we walk in, the ability to lay hands on the sick and see them recover, the ability to walk in peace in the storm, the ability to, to walk in the miraculous, the ability to push back from the world and live in obedience to Christ, all of that power is wrapped up in our relationship with Jesus. But it's not our power, it's his power. You know, when we have faith in his power, we have, you know, how, how do you feel secure that you're a son of God? You have to have faith in who Jesus is and what he did. How do I have faith in healing, laying hands on the sick and seeing someone healed? It's because I believe in Jesus and I believe greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I believe the commission to go in the world and pray for the sick and see them healed. I believe in the spirit of God that's in me with the gift of healing. I believe in, in, in peace. I believe that we can have peace in a storm because we're insulated from the things in the world. We can be because peace is of the mind and heart. And so if we see ourselves in Jesus and not in the world, we can walk on the water as Peter did. We can walk through the storm as Jesus did. And so what the issue we have is knowledge and faith and a low self-esteem. And I'm telling you today, Esteem yourself highly in Jesus because it's his word that gives you that authority. You know, so that's our broadcast for today. I wish I had 10 minutes to do these. Anyway, God bless you. Go to our website, watchersoftruth.com, watchersoftruth.com. Share this message with your family and friends. Pray about becoming a partner with us to spread the gospel, to spread a forerunner ministry, preaching and teaching the unaltered word of God, watchersofthetruth.com, and then pray about using our materials on our website. God bless you guys, and have a 